Joe Biden has decisively won the presidency. There is no way for Trump to overturn the results of the election. And his campaign's post-election lawsuits have gotten dismissed left and right. That hasn't stopped him from launching an official election defense fund and bombarding his supporters with fundraising appeals to supposedly finance the campaign's ongoing litigation. But the fine print tells a very different story. 60% of a donation to Trump's official election defense fund goes to something called Save America, Trump's new leadership political action committee that he set up less than a week after the election. The other 40% goes to the Republican National Committee. So if someone donates, say, $500, Trump's own PAC gets 300 and the RNC gets the other 200 And not a cent actually goes to the election defense fund. Donations only start going to that fund once Trump's PAC reaches the legal contribution limit of $5,000 and the RNC gets $3,000, meaning a supporter would have to donate over $8,000 before any money goes to the fund they think they are supporting. Apparently, enriching himself on the taxpayer dime for the past four years wasn't enough for Trump. Now he's lining his pockets by attacking our elections and undermining our democracy and swindling his supporters every step of the way. Is this just a final grift before Trump leaves office or is it something more? Trump certainly wants to keep the money flowing and a leadership PAC is an easy way to do it. Trump's PAC can be used to fund a lavish post-presidency lifestyle as leadership PACs can use donors' funds for personal expenses like personal travel and events at Trump properties, while campaign committees can't. But there's more at stake than just Trump's personal greed. Creating a PAC like this solidifies Trump's grip on the GOP, as he can distribute the funds to GOP candidates as well. It helps keep his base whipped up ahead of the Georgia runoffs, and the PAC allows him to start preparing for a potential 2024 presidential run, an idea he's already floated to his inner circle. In the grand scheme of things, Trump's PAC also fuels the GOP's cynical strategy to maintain power. You see, they have a permanent stake in stoking a cold civil war. A deeply divided nation serves the party's biggest patrons, giving them unfettered access to the economy's gains, while the bottom 90% of Americans fight each other for the crumbs. That division will persist even with Trump out of the White House, thanks to his bonkers claim of a stolen election, and a base more riled up from racist appeals than ever. We may have defeated Trump, but we haven't defeated Trumpism. We must work to push the Biden administration to tackle the systemic conditions that allowed Trump to seize power in the first place.